Good morning, everyone. Adam Lineman here, the Green Executive. I hope you're doing well. Um, I just pulled up to the Lineman Lawn Care and Landscaping headquarters, and I was thinking about what can we talk about on Free Advice Fridays that uh, our followers would get some good information about that they can maybe actually implement inside their businesses. And one of the things that I thought about is let's talk about contracts and maybe some important things to add into your lawn care and landscaping contract. Uh, one of the things that we have in our lawn care and landscaping contracts that I did not have years ago, and I'm glad that I added it, is in our terms and conditions section of our contract, which is basically like our last section of our proposal. We have a section that's called terms and conditions. Uh, that is right before where the customer signs. Uh, but I have inside there about what happens if a customer goes past due and what happens if we end up having to file a lawsuit against them for not paying their bill. And one of the things that we did not have before in our contracts was if we end up having to file a lawsuit against the client for not paying us was um, is the customer responsible for our legal fees and attorney fees, and now I have that in my contract. And the other thing to take into consideration is if you have to file a lawsuit against that um, customer that you did work for and they haven't paid you, where will the um, lawsuit take place? Basically, which county? So since we're in Monroe County, um, you know, we do a little bit of work over in St. Louis County. We also do quite a bit of work down in Randolph County, Illinois, which is the county to the south of us. But if we have a client that doesn't pay us, it's important to put where the lawsuit will take place at in which county. And so for us, we, we put uh, Monroe County, Illinois, which is where our home base is out of. But it's important to put that into your contracts because if you don't, that lawsuit really could take place anywhere and more than likely it could take place very easily over at the customer's um, location or county they, that they live in. So think about that um, as far as where the lawsuit will take place and who pays for the legal fees and collection costs on any past due who might turn over to an attorney. I hope that's one tip that you get out of today's uh, Free Advice Friday. I'm going to have many